Hi guys, doing a video about Metro Bank MTRO. Metro Bank shares uh, share price going up. And we're going to look at the chart, guys. We're going to look at the chart. It's not financial advice, by the way, just my opinion. It's uh, coming up to 36 minutes past 3 p.m. UK time on the 21st November. 2024 so let's look at the chart guys let's look at the chart here's the chart metro bank guys and this is the one week chart we're going to put it on the one day chart and there we go guys um i made a few videos on this on my channel you can have a look and i think i started making videos on it when it was 30 pence, I can't, if I recall, something somewhere like that, maybe a bit higher, but um, yeah, I was, I was making videos on it and I, I noticed I didn't get a lot of views, or I generally don't get a lot of views, anyway, I did get, yeah, I generally don't get a lot of views, but I did get some comments on some of my videos saying that I was talking rubbish, etc, etc, because I was bullish on Metro Bank. And I don't know where those people are now. Clueless. Absolutely clueless. I was telling telling them, in my opinion, it was going to go up from about 30, around about 30, 30 um, pence. Anyway, totally clueless. And now look at it. It's gone over one pound. And um, yeah, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I'm holding. I'm holding all the way, guys. I got personally. I got at least a target price on Metro Bank long term. I mean, I've been holding long term, so why 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 not hold even longer? And it won't be as long as I, I that I, I was holding for. My target price is about five. Um five pounds and that's being realistic based on number of shares in issue versus how many they were how many shares you know metro bank started with and how high the share price was so that's being realistic right because really i could say 10 pounds I could say ten pounds a share, um, but you know, to be on the safe side, five pounds a share. And I had more shares of Metro Bank, but I sold some when it rose because I was running short of funds. I wanted to buy a, a different stock. I can't even remember what the stock was or whatever, but. Sitting on now just over four and a half thousand shares. Um, as I say, this could fall back down a bit, but long term it's going to be heading up, in my opinion. Can't see how it can't now, it's got all the bad news out of the way. I'd be mad to sell my shares now. Metro Bank because like I'll be losing out on from now like my target price five pounds I'll be losing out on an, an X4 well you know basically an X, X3 yeah an X4 if I, if I say five pounds X4 from where it is now um yeah, X4 plus my, plus my one pound is X5. So I'll be losing out on an X4. So I'm not going to sell for, you know, I, I, look, I'm up over 121%, right? I'm up 121% because I, I had a higher average. Although I did buy some at 30 pence, I even bought some lower than 30 pence. But those are the ones that I sold. So because I bought some metro bank when it was a, a lot higher my average therefore is 45 pence on this account i've got some other metro bank stocks 
on a different trading platform, which I, got, I think I got a lot higher average on that. So I'm going to have to hold that long term, but not. It's only it's only about I think it's one thirty or one fifty, one pound thirty or one pound fifty. I need to check because I haven't checked for a long time. But as I say, like uh, I think it's going to fly. You know, Metro Bank stock now it's going to fly in my opinion uh yeah they transform the company transform the bank and um it's looking good um so i don't know how long it would take for metro bank you know to recover fully but it seems like a big recovery there but when you actually look on the one week it's absolutely it's like nothing to where it was you know let me just reset the chart to give you a better view that's the one week chart so it's way 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 down you know where it was around over it was like 40 40 pounds over 40 pounds like but you know five pounds basically would be about here that level last time say 480 last time it was 480 was uh, if i could keep it still there november 19 so you know five years ago so to get to 480 would be like five years it's been down for five years you know to get to 480 and if it goes to 10 10 pounds last time it was at 10 pounds as you can see it was like stay the same june but it was on the way down from there so so yeah guys like five pound is realistic five pound target price i've got as i say i've got four the actual number of shares i've got let me show you like four thousand six hundred and eighty two that's what I'm up now in profit, 2,582. But I've got more shares on, on another trading platform, but a higher average, like three times the average I had that like I've got on this one. But combined anyway, if, if, if I'm looking at five pound target price, I think they were bought at 130, maybe 150, I'm not sure what something like that but that will basically be you know x3 um yeah that they, they will still go into profit x3 you know those shares i'm not sure how me, how much how many shares on the other account but i think it would be at least at least a thousand or fifteen hundred shares at least so combined we're looking at something like six thousand shares with maybe an average of 75 well maybe 70 maybe 65 i don't know i have to work it out depends how many number of shares on the other account but that's the target price that i've got and i'm not gonna ride any i'm not gonna swing trade because i've been holding I'm not going to sell and then wait for it. It's not going to come back down, in my opinion. So I'm looking at, you know, basically holding. I just need it about here. I need it just about here. Five. You know, just about five, just over five. I mean, if it approaches five and then zooms up, you know, to 550 or whatever then it's just a bonus and also i don't know it could be like 
you know, dividends in the future. I could be talking about dividends. Um, if they pay dividends, I don't know how much that could be worth, the dividends, on the way up, you know, with, um, so as I say, with uh, 6,000 shares, don't know how much the dividends could be worth. Could be worth, uh, I don't know. Could be worth maybe 500, 500 pounds, 600 pounds. Depends how long it took to go to five pounds. Could end up with a thousand, 1500 pounds worth of dividends. Uh, who knows, guys? Anyways, just an update about the Metro Bank, guys. And uh, as I say, I don't know how long it's going to take to go up, but it's been down, as you know, for a long time. I mean, it could take another two years, right? But it's worth waiting. It's got to be worth waiting for that amount of profit, guys. I mean, I'll be looking at 20, you know, like 5,000... 5,000 shares, type. it'll be looking at 25,000 less what I paid, you know. Um, so, I don't know, it's pr probably like 20,000 profit after everything, what I paid, maybe more. I mean, that's what got to be worth waiting for rather than cashing out just for epoxy two and a half thousand plus i'm not even up on the other account do you know what i mean so anyway guys it's just an update about metro bank you could have bought it for 28 pence right you could have got in and it's not too late to get in in my opinion not financial advice but it's not too late to get in guys because it could fly go to the moon could go even ten dollar uh ten pounds who knows anyway guys just a quick update yeah and uh forget those people left comments saying it was all you go and check the videos guys and check the comments right because they're, they're, they're clueless they're clueless and they never even got back to me to apologize